walking backwards, instability, I stand with a prop, and yet once I start going backwards, it's difficult to stop, and sometimes I go over and I'm stopped from falling by someone behind me. That's my work. It's uh, insomnia, quite frankly, and, and the poor sleep patterns that I, I have to put up with. And probably worse, they're, they're, they're completeness and unpredictability. I think my most troublesome symptom is a short-term memory loss. I, I struggle for words, which makes me, at work, when I'm doing a presentation, I, I stumble over words. Um, and when I sing in the choir, I sing in, um, sometimes I struggle to pick the words from my line. Um, so within seconds the words come back, but it's just getting them out. Uh, probably the um, disturbance I get from restless leg at night, which disturbs sleep, which makes me tired the next day and has ongoing effects as a result. What I would like to be measured somehow is the efficacy of the drugs from month to month and to find that there is no deterioration and I'm in a stable condition. If I could measure that, that's what it would be. I'd, I'd be interested to know, in fact, the extent to which lack of sleep affects the, the efficacy of, of, of my, my medication. Because by casual observation, I've noticed that on days when I've had bad sleep, the medication doesn't work, doesn't seem to work as well. And I'd like to know whether that's the medication or the, or the sleep. I think in terms of measurement, I don't take all of the levodopa tablets that are prescribed for me, and I try and balance what I take with what I feel I need at any one day, depending on what I'm going to be doing. So for me, it would be very useful to be able to measure more specifically the consumption of levodopa tablets in relation to my life at that time. Uh, I'd like not to have my right foot dragging when I walk and my right arm would, I'd like it to swing when I'm rather than look, which gives me a look of Parkinson's. I'd rather not have that look of Parkinson's. <laughs>